Hey YouTube, DMV Solo Rider here. I am down in, I don't know what it's called. On the map it says Aquila Harbor. But other people say Clifton, Virginia. There's a nice little road out here. It's about 30, 35 miles. Some twisties, some straightaways, really nice countryside. I'll show it to you. I'll put a link to a map and GPS coordinates below in the comment section. And you can try it out yourself. I'm in sport mode today. I almost never put my 2019 Chieftain Dark Horse in sport mode. Don't usually need it. But I figure we'll try something different. see if I can show you on my GPS where we're going there it is that's the circuit great little ride I really enjoy it the end the last stretch that's where most of the twisties are some up and down roads it's a lot of fun if you don't get stuck behind a really slow car last time I was here that's exactly what happened I tried to make a video and I just quit I don't think you wanted to watch me go 20 miles an hour behind a 25 year old Chevy. <laughs> Nothing like the sound of motorcycle in the afternoon. These big baggers got some juice. Goodbye. I'm actually doing this route backwards from how I used to do it. Usually I'm coming from up north and I hit the first exit in the circuit. But today I was coming from the south and I decided I might as well slowly make my way north. We'll see how it is from this direction. area up ahead I can't remember exactly where but it's like it's like going through a tunnel but it's just trees they grow over the road it's really cool not bad I'm not trying to break the speed record just want to have a little fun that's my big 850 pound bagger. It's got some kick. Here's the tunnel I was telling you about. Look how cool that is. The trees are all looped over. Ready. There are usually a ton of bikes out, all sport bikes, and I totally understand why. Just beautiful. engine braking around here you gotta do it at your pace I'm getting delirious from all this heat
little wind. Move me over to the side of the road. That's creepy. That is one thing I've noticed about this bike. Wind catches in the windshield, this whole area right here. And it can kind of, the fairing acts kind of like a, a sail. Move you around the road a little bit. As long as you're prepared for it, it's no big deal. But every once in a while, it catches you by surprise. basically just been in fourth gear this whole time haven't felt the need to downshift gotten so used to using these highway bars that I keep missing the shifter <laughs> oh this is that 90 degree turn <laughs> trying to it's the last stretch 10.2 miles this is probably the curviest part By the way, another YouTuber that I really like watching is Cycle Cruiser. When he's on his bike and he gives it some juice and he starts giggling like a schoolgirl, that's how I feel. I love it. So I watch all his videos. You guys should go watch him too. Send him some comments. Tell him to get a real bike. Get off that dirt bike he's riding these days.
It's not hard when you can't see over the next hill. shifting into all that torque Mr. Blue Car, please turn somewhere. Ooh, 15 mile an hour turn. Now that's for a car. Go a little faster on a bike and be alright. Okay, a little break. A little too fast for that one for me. I thought it was the last turn. <laughs> That's all for today guys we are just about done I'm gonna say so long now in case my battery cuts out but once again I'll put a link to the maps GPS coordinates under in the comments section definitely check out this ride it's awesome bye guys